Hey guys, greetings from Meridia, Mexico. A lot of you are not going to like this video. I guarantee it. And here's why. I'm going to expand on my opinions and notions and uh, just overall opinion about this area and about this region. Um, I feel that uh, a lot of people that do come down here, either as ex expats or as guests of this of this uh, area, um, really sugarcoat it. You know, I suppose that if you are living here, you know, and you need to um, to do that you're going to have sort of biased opinions about it, just as well as this video. Um, sorry for the ums and everything. That's just sort of how I engage um, public school education, I suppose. Meridia reminds me of Mexico's example of, or I could make a comparison, would be sort of like the Miami of Florida. Uh, there's a lot of expats here who are very standoffish. They don't tend to engage other people that they know for a fact that are also foreigners visiting here. And they tend to be sort of like, well, oh no, there's another, there's another gringo I don't want to associate myself with them. And they do come off that way. Um, bear in mind also, there is a, if, if you tend to want to uh, loosen up or want to engage in the uh, adult alcohol beverages, there's a ban um, imposed here now. You can't get it anywhere unless you go to a drinking establishment to where you will be charged pretty extensively for it as well. I felt overall um, this, this area is sort of, aside from, aside from being able to uh, engage other individuals here, um, there's not much here to do at all especially during a lockdown. Um, and I, as I mentioned before, there's definitely, there's, there's definitely a, a, a ban on, um, you know, beverages, consumption of uh, alcoholic beverages. Um, if you're coming here to loosen up or, uh, you know, tie one on, you might want to go somewhere else, seriously. Um, another thing that I noticed as well, um, a lot of the, the people that work here in, in various parts of the industry here do not speak any English. And they're adamant about that. They're very adamant about that. I've had to thankfully use either uh, Google Translate or um, just my own, using my own um, intuition in, uh, in Spanish to uh, communicate um, very so if you are uh, if you are not fluent in Spanish you're gonna definitely have a difficult time here for sure um, it amazes me how many people just you know uh, just sort of elaborate on like oh my god it's so great here it's paradise and da 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 well I'm coming from the perspective of someone who is who is a foreigner um, from a practical sense like someone here that's just you know average Joe just coming here to visit and quite honestly um, it's been very challenging very challenging um, again the language barrier it, it really it's really a problem here um, thirdly um, it seems as though I, I see a, a, a Thailand or Bangkok dynamic about this place as well. Um, they know that foreigners are not essentially um, 
wealthy, but you will definitely, if it's, if it's implied that you have money, okay, they're definitely going to um, exploit that for sure. I've had to, play, to pay some fairly elaborate gringo prices uh, for a lot of the services that I've been receiving. Um, I just, I'm, um, right now I'm um, actually in the process of uh, doing dental work and everything. And uh, although on a scale, comparatively speaking, uh, very affordable, but they know that you are someone traveling from elsewhere and that you know you have a bit of you have a bit of income and they will definitely exploit that it seems like they're really into that just like thailand is um again i'll go forward um, thailand had sort of this sort of entitlement sort of uh idea that you know oh well you're american and it's almost like they are like it, it's almost like they feel like, you know, it's implied, like, oh, and, and not appreciative. You know, I've, you know, I've tipped people here and everything, and it's just kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, thanks, bye. And that's, that's really, that's really standoffish. It doesn't really bode well with me and probably you. You don't want to go someplace where people just expect that you're just a walking, you know, you know, a walking wallet. You know what I mean? And... Shame on the people that come here as expats and go, oh, this place is so great and it's so this and that and the other. Well, there's other places. Mexico is huge. There's a lot of cities here that you could go to where people will actually engage with you, expats, locals or whatever, and um, not feel entitled to you know your money. And I'm sorry, but anybody that travels or whatever doesn't want to be stuck up for what they have, you know, seriously. And then on top of that, like, you would think this place would, would have people that work in the service sector that speaks some sort of English. If I didn't have my translator um, uh, device, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And it doesn't help that uh, I left my phone back in L.A., uh, but I'm 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 getting by, it's it's cool, and I've only spent two days here. By the way, I've got at least ten more. Um, uh, yeah, I've got at least ten more days to to spill it out here. Thank God that I brought enough resources, and I have a you know I have a financial lifeline uh, to to get through here. But man, Meridia is not all it's cracked up to be. Um, there are other places that you can go in Mexico that are well, much more well worth the time where people, where, where the people and the locals will actually embrace you and you know, not necessarily kiss your bottom, but you know, be appreciative of you know, the fact that you are coming out of your comfort zone to come to, come to their area and stabilize their economy because Let's face it, um, it's pretty tough right now. It's pretty tough. I mean, the fact that any, anybody's traveling right now is nothing short of a miracle. Um, let's see. I'm trying to, to give at least a, enough details about you know, my, my reasons for this, this uh, line of thinking or whatnot. But probably the best part, the best part of being here is this the fact that I can return back to you know my home where I came from where I know what to expect you know I know that there is not going to be people that are going to see me as you know a walking piggy bank um, people people will want to engage me even in a, a excuse me even in LA um, and there's no you know, there's no drinking ban. Oh, and by the way, it is hot as Hades down here. It is humid, you know, mosquitoes, everything. By the way, there's also stray animals here. You know, uh, as a matter of fact, there's uh, some cats going at it right now. 
So I got to I got to deal with that uh, for a good portion of the this evening as well. But for those that are even thinking of you know residing here um, or visiting, please do your research. Please do your research. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this video is probably going to be the first video in history where I'm really, really giving a real um, non-biased opinion of this area. And I'm here to say that it's not all it's cracked up to be. Like I said before earlier, it's much like Mexico's version of like Orlando or Florida. Not saying that that region is, you know, you know, dismal or anything, but, you know, if you're if you're a person that doesn't really get into the indifference uh, of you know that area and how you know touristy it can be, you know, you you definitely know what I'm talking about. Um, hopefully, I can get done what I need to do. I can get back on that plane and go right back home um, to L.A. and uh, enjoy my life. But I just wanted to put it out there. Um, if you have any questions and you want to uh, speak to me directly, you know, via online or however you want to communicate, let me know. Um, I'm open to, unlike a lot of these YouTubers out here, I'm open to, I'm open to a difference of opinion. I'm open to disagreement. I'm open to that. But yeah, Meridia is just not... No, there's other places in Mexico, dare I name them, that you can go to and you could have a much better time. Okay, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, peace.